Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to Delish, this amazing cooking competition, which is food cooked by you. And some of our contestants, alhamdulillah, we're in our last and final quarter final, the fourth one out of eight contestants. Who's going to go through to the semi final? We've got another surprise in stall. You'll find out shortly what that is. Assalamu alaikum, Delish fans. Today, I am filled with great trepidation. We have reached a momentous occasion. We are on the precipice of something amazingly huge. We are about to go where no Delish contestant or fan has ever been. Okay, I think I might have overhyped that. What I was going to say is that we have reached the final, final quarterfinal. The last pair before we move on to the semi finals. Yes, uh, I need to calm down now. So finally, we come to our only representative of the better half of our species, Hussein Shah, and the final female representative of the quarterfinals. The last, but certainly not least, Mania Sheikh. These two did awfully well in the first round, with Mania filling the film crew with loads and loads of lamb and chicken curry dishes, while Hussein left us astounded with making his lasagna from scratch using some seriously complicated kitchen contraptions. I did say I was looking forward to today's final, final quarter final. They're great! Okay, so you know, when he said special, uh, <laughs> yeah, special rules today, Yes, because we have a special pair. It doesn't have anything to do with a camera crew running out of time to film this quarterfinal. Of course, they wouldn't do that. Oh, hell no! So, yeah, um, yeah, because these two are special, we are going to make it doubly difficult on them. They, unlike the others, won't get one hour to cook their meal. They only get 45 minutes. Oh, my God! Anyway... As you know, the contestants don't get to bring what they want to the table this time, but this time the judges told them to bring just one item and he kept it very vague so he can test how they react to a more improv situation. And in this final quarter final, they just got told to bring one chicken breast. So what happens now? Well, the judge now gives a quick 45 minute tutorial to the kids on how to make the chicken dish. The kids can take notes, but they have to be ready because straight after, they have just one hour, well, sorry, 45 minutes to replicate the same meal they just learned. Can they make the dish just as good? Or maybe they can better the expert chef too. We will see. Ah, the stress and tension is getting to me. I need to just... Chill. Thank you, Hussein. <laughs> But without further ado, let's meet our contestants. If I can ask both the contestants to come to the middle, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. How are we doing? Yes, good. We good? Yes. Alhamdulillah. So what's your name? Tell me where you come from. Um, I'm Hussein and I come from Hawakam. Okay, alhamdulillah. And your name? Um, Mania and I come from Hawakam. Okay, so alhamdulillah. We've got uh, Hussein and Mania, mashallah, our two contestants. Are we looking forward to it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, alhamdulillah. I can ask you to take your positions, please. So we've got our two young contestants. They're going to be eager to please the judge and our guest, who you all know who it is by now, is Chef Daniel, if I can ask him to join us. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa Very good, alhamdulillah, we're in the last and final <coughs> quarter final. Stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, we've got another little surprise, so do you want to tell us what they're going to be cooking, with what ingredients, what meats, uh, and what they're going to be doing today? Inshallah, we're going to be cooking some chicken, chicken <laughs> breast stuffed with some mushrooms, some wild mushrooms uh, with a lemon and kale risotto. Interesting, mashallah. Sounds very interesting. Quite a different type of dish that we've got. Uh, alhamdulillah, I can't wait. Hopefully you can't wait. Let's ask the contestants. Hussein, are you ready? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Amania, are you ready? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. The contestants are ready. Are you ready? Let's get cooking. <laughs> Hussein, come on up. Right, you guys must be familiar with chicken, so that's not a problem, right? You all like chicken? I guess everybody does. We've got some wild mushrooms here. This may be a bit funky for you. Have a smell of that. 
yeah, smell of the forest, right? Don't worry about it. It's all going to taste good, inshallah. We also got some fresh mushrooms there, some kale, shallots, also some spring onions, butter, our risotto rice, a bit of parmesan, some thyme, okay? So just to get you familiar with the ingredients, what we're going to do first of all is make our stuffing for our uh, chicken, okay? So w this is just some dried wild mushrooms. They've been soaking in water for about 20 minutes, half an hour. We're just going to drain that water now. This softens them up, they're soaking. And that liquid coming out, we're going to also incorporate that uh, into our dish as well later. So get our wild mushrooms there. This can go back. So have a good look at these. These are all funky fungus here. All different wild mushrooms, very strong flavours. Okay, we're going to chop this up. Just chop it up fine. Now that it's been soaking, it's easy to chop. Okay, as I'm chopping it, you can really smell those woody flavours coming out of them. You like mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah? No? That's good. This round is all about getting you out of your comfort zone and exploring different things. All right, so we chopped up a bit of thyme. Garlic, shallot, wild mushrooms, fresh mushroom there as well. Okay, so portobello mushroom. All right, so we're going to go in uh, with our oil. Very hot pan. We want it to sear away. First of all, the the mushrooms. Get the mushrooms in there first. So, you know, when, you, when you're cooking, you've got to hear as well as smell and taste. You're hearing that sizzle, that means uh, it's ready because you don't want the mushrooms to sweat too much. You want them to sear, okay? So get it on a high heat. Now I find these stock shallots and some garlic. If we were to put everything together at the same time, the shallots and the garlic would brown. So we're going to put the herbs in there as well. Okay. Sizzling nicely. That's the sound you want to hear, yeah? Just keep it all moving in there. Okay. At this point then, we can uh, season salt and pepper. We put it in now because if you put it in at the beginning, the salt draws the moisture out of the mushrooms. Now they're sealed, it's okay. That is our stuffing, okay? Wild mushrooms, shallots, garlic, thyme. Okay, so we're just gonna spread that out on the plate. That way it will cool down quicker. We just put that to the side. Now, risotto, have you ever had uh, risotto before? No. No, so it's like a creamy rice dish, Yeah. okay, it's very interesting, a bit different, okay, so what we're going to do is get some spring onion, okay, just get the end bits off, okay, even the green bits, up the very top, we don't need those bits, they can get a bit hard, okay, spring onion is quite strong in flavour, Okay, so over here we've got a stock. We need that handy. To that I'm going to add this juice that the mushrooms was in from the dried mushrooms that we soaked it in. That's got plenty of flavour too. <coughs> now we get our rice in. Okay, all of our rice straight in the pan, the butter. And then we just give it a good mix. Get all that um, rice coated in the butter. Okay, and as that butter heats up, the rice will turn a bit translucent and um, then it will be ready. So this rice is a bit different how you would cook rice for, you know, maybe a curry or something like that. It's got a lot of starch in it. And as you cook it, those starches release and they create that creamy 
taste that is famous for risotto. So you can hear that now, right? Yeah. And you can smell that now, right? Can you smell the spring yeah. onions? We're using our senses, we're looking at it to make sure that it is changing colour, as you see. The rice is taking on a translucency, using all of our senses with cooking. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now we can start adding our stock. So you only add a little bit at a time. The idea behind this, you add a little bit at a time and you keep stirring and what will happen, the rice contains starch and that starch will break down and uh, soften and turn it into a creamy sauce. So we've got a chicken breast here, okay? What we're gonna do, we're gonna get our nice plump chicken breast and we're gonna make a little pocket here, okay? So we hold our chicken breast firmly, keep the knife away from you. Let me get that out of the way so the viewers can see at home. At the same time, you see, it's you've got a multitask in the kitchen. At the same time, I'm giving this a stare, all right? You always got to do many different jobs when you're cooking dishes. So what we're doing, we're not cutting down all the way to the bottom. We're just creating a pocket here, right? This fillet here on the bottom, we can just pull that out. We're going to use that to block the hole in a minute. So we get our chicken. We're going to stuff the mushrooms inside. Do you right inside. Does it have to be all of it? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not going to stuff all of that mixture inside. We're going to actually put some of that on the top as well. So you're going to get a lovely rich mushroom taste, right? Inside and outside the chicken. Okay, so like that now, we're going to just put that fillet that we ripped out and we're going to fill that hole, okay? So we've got uh, our pan on, okay, that's back on now. Let's turn that up a little bit, okay? We've got our seasoning inside and out. I'm going to keep this, um, this mushrooms for putting on the top once we get it in the oven. So the idea now is we're going to seal our chicken, okay? So we grab our slice, because it's an easier tool to use. Let's move this out of the way. Bring our plate over, so we don't have to drop anything. Chicken, straight in, yeah? Right in the middle. You're listening for that sear, that sound is the, is the sound we want to hear, okay? We're not cooking this entirely in the pan. We're just giving it some colour on the outside. So you see now, that's starting to seal. We've got the, uh, the front side here. We're not cooking this. All we're doing is sealing it. At the same time, you've got to keep your eye on there. Risotto, multitasking, yeah? Keep that stirring. And in the back we've got our oven on, ready, getting preheated, okay? Okay, that will help it go brown as well. And we're gonna stick that in the oven. There we are. Now we're just gonna leave that to do its work in the oven. This is our kale. Just chopped up a bit. Okay, straight in there. I'm gonna spit a bit, stand back. That's the water inside of the vegetable. Alhamdulillah. How are we doing, uh, guys? Alhamdulillah, doing good. Keep so okay, the well. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. There's a, a lot of people talking a lot of good things about kale, or maybe not so good. So maybe you want to tell us some about health benefits of kale. What can you tell us about kale, Chef Daniel? Well, like um, a lot of dark, uh, green vegetables. It's uh, high in these yep. uh, folic acids and iron, which is very good for your blood. It's very antioxidant. It's very healthy for you in that way. It's how you prepare it. I think a lot of people find it uh, maybe a bit bitter. Okay, alhamdulillah. Well, I'll see you back shortly in about 10 minutes. Jazakallah khair. As, as chef is getting in the middle of his dish, and as our chicken is slowly baking away, 
We're gonna go for a short break, but stay tuned here on Delish. We'll see you after the break. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. <laughs> So we've got our lemon here, right? Unwaxed lemon. So we can use the a bit of the zest. Try to get the, the yellow, not the white itself. Just the zest itself, not the pith. Okay. There we go. That's all we need really because it's a very powerful thing, lemon zest. Okay, so we can put that to one side, one ingredient fixed for us. Okay, chop this lemon. We just need the, the juice. I'm going to get rid of some pips that are there. Okay, we'll keep that aside, ready to squeeze in. Okay, Let's have a look at our chicken. Chicken is cooking away nicely. Just keep an eye on that, we don't want to overdo it. And then if you come over, I'll show you. If you just stand uh, maybe on this side, okay? So you can both see. We'll get uh, a spoon, right? What you want to do is get your chicken and just uh, make sure it's still got some juices on it. Baste it, that's right. Make sure, you know, you do it quickly when you open up the oven, the heat's going to go down quickly. So you can either take your dish out of the oven, shut the door, and then do it, open and then put it back, or just do it like I did. Keep safe about it, whatever you're comfortable, but don't leave the oven door open too long, otherwise the heat will go right down. Okay, so that's cooking nicely. Our risotto, it's all about timing. Keep your eye on it, keep stirring it. Okay, as you see. That's cooking nicely. We're going to add more of this. We're almost there. We just got to keep our eye out. At this point now, I'm going to add a bit of salt. And you, you know, always got to be tasting throughout your dish to make sure it's correctly seasoned. When you put salt and pepper in dishes, as it cooks, it might intensify it. It might um, take something away from it. You've got to keep tasting things. Make sure you've got everything nice. Right. Now, we've got some more thyme here. Okay. These bits are a bit woody. What I'm going to do is just pick the leaves off and sort of rub it and chuck it in there. Because when I rub it, it releases a bit of the oils. We're putting it in at this stage now. <laughs> We've got some uh, watercress here that's just going to be like a garnish. Okay. This is very, um, taste a bit. Mm -hmm. Taste a bit of that. It's very peppery. It's been a also good, it's high in vitamin C, it's very nice. Okay, can you see now this rice, how it's transformed? It's almost there, yeah? We're going to just taste a bit. Okay, almost done, almost done. So we've got a... Um, Flavour it with some Parmesan cheese. And then we're going to put in our kale. Squeeze a lemon, and that's it. Zest as well. We can put in the zest now. You've got to be really careful taking things out of the oven. So when on your rounds, if you need any help, I'm here to help you, yeah? So we've got our risotto. We're going to put this on the plate. We're going to cut into the chicken.
the smell is really good. Okay, now we're gonna just spread our chicken out. This will be probably enough for two plates, but we're just making one. Okay. There we go, I'm gonna leave this aside. I'm just gonna garnish that now with a little of the watercress that will give it some nice pepperiness. Alhamdulillah guys, how's that uh, dish tasting? Tasting good? It's pretty nice. Alhamdulillah. Are you guys confident you can make something similar to that? Yeah, I can make better. You can, oh, mashallah, I like the confidence, alhamdulillah. So I'm going to be looking forward to trying your dish, alhamdulillah. Oh, we have a really confident Ladi Hussein. So he confidently thinks he is going to not only win, but do better than the chef. Let's see. So if we're all ready, Hussein, are you ready? Yep. Are you ready? Yeah. Bismillah. One, two, three, let's cook. As I was saying, important just to remind everybody, what we're judging on is uh, your ability to learn what you've just seen previously, okay? Your, um, your technical ability, your timing, how you do things, your confidence, and obviously the dish at the end, what it looks like, what it tastes like, etc. Yeah? yeah? So let's start cooking, yeah? So Hussain, <coughs> what's your favourite uh, cuisine to cook? Um, I like cooking sweet more than savoury, I think. Oh really? Yep. Sweet tooth, huh? Yeah. So cakes and puddings and desserts and all that? Your favourite? I like making tarts and pies. Wow, wow. Big fan of that. That mm. sounds delicious. Okay, so you brought your own knife along. Yep. Very good. Wow. That looks like a beast of a knife. Yep, just keep stirring that and uh, make sure it doesn't burn. Do you get to cook much at home? Um, yes. You know, your sister also uh, was in the competition. Do you, uh, you cook with her at home? Mm. We cook separate things, huh? What do you like cooking the most? Um, I like baking better than cooking. Oh, another baker, right? <laughs> and your favourite thing to, to bake? Um, it's cakes. Cakes, yeah. Wow, another sweet tooth. You need to just chop it a little bit finer. <laughs> Okay, so you need to think about your chicken now, because that takes some time in the oven too. So get your um, stuffings uh, ready. Your stuffings will have to also cool down before you put them in the chicken breast. So you, wa you want to save that liquid through your strainer into your stock, and then that way uh, you can you can put it straight into your stock. Okay? So your risotto should be cooking slow. Okay? Not too bubbly. That's uh, catching on the bottom. That's why it's gone a bit that colour. Okay? You need to slow it down. Keep your eye on that. When the liquid absorbs, just add some more liquid in. Make sure that garlic is chopped down nicely. Let me just show you 
how to safely use a big knife. Otherwise you're going to be there for a very long time. So you can grab all of this together, keep your hands on top of here, don't curl your fingers, keep them on top, and then just chop like this. Okay, let the knife do its work. You don't have to put a lot of force because the knife is sharp and it will chop through that. Okay. And then you can go this way like that, okay? Just do it steadily, carefully, you'll be fine, okay? okay. Just hold one hand like that, okay? And the other one just chop like that. Go ahead. That's it, well done. Well chopped, dum, well chopped. Dum, dum, dum. Okay. So you've got your little sort of fillet take out. It's going to seal your, your thing, right? That's it. Brilliant. So go easy. Make sure you don't cut all the way through. Nicely done. Don't forget your risottos, okay? You've got to multitask as well. Okay, you must stare. Keep staring, okay? Chop something, stare. Chop Turn something, stare. Closing. Yeah. Multitasking. Think ahead of yourself. Stage by stage, how you're going to do it, what you're going to put things in. You need to keep one step ahead of the game. Okay, now we need to make the little pocket. As you remember, you're going from the thick end, okay, and you cut not all the way through, just to make a little pocket and then you can stuff your mixture. Be careful, be careful as you do it. Use the point of the knife to pierce.